How, how are you feeling about the uh, performance afterwards? Oh, I feel awesome. I'm great. I'm grateful that, you know, I was able to get in there and get a dominant win tonight and, you know, show a little bit more of what I've been wanting to do. I'm evolving and I'm getting uh, the whole Tiny Tornado, you know, moniker, giving it its name and putting it out to the world. Nice. Obviously, we see the, the bag of ice on the hand. Is it, do you think it's broken or? I don't know if it's broken. I think it's maybe fractured. I, I hurt my hand the second round. Uh, so I, I kept punching her, though. So it was, it's all good. <laughs> I was say, it wasn't noticeable at all. So, I mean, did you just make a conscious effort? Like, hey, I know it's hurt, but we're just going to keep throwing it? Yeah, I pretty much said, fuck it. And I had a fight, you know? <laughs> like, I wanted to win the fight. So, you know, you're going to get hurt in a fight. It's bound to happen. Uh, you two were the stars of the press conference earlier this week. Obviously, you know, a little bit of a dust up there. I mean, uh, was this fight kind of personal coming in for you? I wouldn't say personal. I just didn't like the comments that she was making, you know, whole pre-USADA. So now pre-USADA, post-USADA, she made me fucking work super, super hard for this fight. I've never eaten, like, super healthy for this for a fight. I'm not saying I was the best, you know, at it, but I did pretty damn well for myself. I, you know, I was able to, you know, basically not cut weight. I, I worked out and I made weight. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Well, so you're telling us you usually have junk food or something as your diet? Oh, all the time, yeah. I still had it in this camp, but I was much more uh, focused on what I was eating and even this week usually I'll like bring I have my Swedish fish and they're not even opened up you know normally by now they're gone <laughs> I'm, I'm like dead ass serious right now <laughs> I, I eat Swedish fish and I make weight every single time but right now they're in its pack in, in its package that's amazing that's amazing. But you said you have to show a lot of things I mean I see a lot of striking in there tonight right like I think people think you have to rely on your wrestling is that are you excited that that wasn't what you had to rely on to get the job done tonight for sure. I, I, it's weird that people like say I'm a wrestler or something. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm a striker. I come from a karate background. And I was just really happy that I was able to throw in my hook kicks, my spin kicks, uh, my side kicks. I didn't really, I don't think I did any reverse side kicks. I really wanted to get that in tonight. But my front hook kick, it landed a few times. And I was just really happy with that. I did some really nice elbows. Um, so I just think with every fight that I put in more effort of doing that, it'll come more naturally. So I'm just really happy that they were able to get in there and land some of them tonight. So and obviously uh, an emotional moment afterwards, uh, dedication there. Was this, uh, was this a tough one for you? I mean, were there thoughts of, of, of not competing or was it difficult to keep your focus? Uh, difficult to keep my focus. Um, I honestly, like, <laughs> probably cried every single day of my fight camp. Uh, I cried a lot this week. I'm a really sensitive person, um, so I take a lot of things to heart, and my family is very important to me. Um, so, yeah, I left for a week during my camp, and when I came back, uh, my coach was, like, worried about, you know, where my headspace would be and how I would do just because I took off a week as well. But I came back with, you know, everything that I had and I put everything into this fight camp. I had to, you know, tell my family this week, please don't give me any updates to my grandma unless it's an emergency. Otherwise, just tell me after the fight whether it's good or not because um, I need to keep my head in this. Have you checked in with them yet? Uh, no, I haven't gone to my phone yet. You guys have just been, sh you know, shuffling me around. I, I want to watch this Aldo fight right now, and I'm kind of missing it. <laughs> well, we won't hold you away from the Aldo fight. Just one more thing. Uh, what, what do you want to do now? I mean, obviously, the win streak continues for you, right? And you're, and you're charging up the ranks. So, uh, I mean, do you want to fight quickly, or do you need some time off now? What's, what's the plan? Are there matchups that make sense? What's, what's next? Uh, as long as my hand is fine, I want to fight again. So, two, three months, what's August, September, October? Maybe a early November, late November fight. Just another fight this year would put, make me really happy. I'd love to fight someone in the top five. I think it makes sense. And then, you know, with a four win week, four win win streak, whatever you call it, I think I'd be up there to fight for the title. I've been in this division a long time. I fought every single champion in my division, never backing down, you know. Um, so I think my time is coming. I'm evolving. My birthday's next week, so I'm excited about that. This is a great win, great birthday present to myself. Um, but yeah, top five, please, Mick. I earned it. The only name he was giving me was Angela, Angela, Angela. So I said, fine, I'll fight Angela. You know, and it was a dominant win. You know, it wasn't just a, a slice over her. It wasn't a split decision like she's you know had before. There's no, ex you know, she can't make an excuse. I beat her fair and square. I outpunched her by a lot. I, my speed was probably five times as fast as her. So um, yeah, Tiny Tornado's here to stay. Thank you. Mic drop. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Can, thank you. I want to watch the fight. Oh, can, oh, can I ask yes. you about uh, your grandma? What's your grandma's name? Okay. And, and just how did you? How did she tell you she had cancer? And um, my grandma's name is Maureen. Um, 
the way I had found the way from, I don't want to talk about it really that much to be honest with you but uh, yeah I found out she, t she didn't want to tell me because she knew that I was in fight camp but um, it kind of got out <laughs> I don't know I don't remember my sister my mom whoever it was but then just one day you know my grandpa sent me a picture and my grandma was losing her hair and she was bald so it just hurt me to see her like that you know like I fight I have fun doing this I love fighting but you know, those are the real fighters, people, you know, fighting for their life every day. So, uh, yeah, sorry, tough question to ask me right now. I want to be happy. If I could just, the Puerto Rican flag, how important is it for you to, to have that Puerto Rican flag and to carry it after you, you won? Oh, awesome. You know, being a Latina in the sport and being a Puerto Rican in the sport, there's not many of us and there hasn't been a champion yet uh, in the UFC. I know we had Anthony Pettis uh, in WEC, but I really want to make a name for myself here. And yes, I'm American born, so I'm proud to be an American as well, but my, my blood is Sangre Latina, so I, I'm proud to represent Puerto Ricans. And uh, you know, it, it's just exciting. There's a whole country behind me. One day maybe, you know, if I become champion, we can go to Puerto Rico. Uh, that would be awesome. When you see with Brandon Moreno and how much love Latinos have had for him, does that inspire you to also carry that to Puerto Rico and maybe go back to Puerto Rico with a championship? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You know, he comes from Mexico. That's a big-ass country, so he has a lot of people behind him. But just his journey from the Ultimate Fighter to where he is now, that's inspiring. You know, I started in the Ultimate Fighter, and, you know, I, I came from struggles growing up, and I didn't have much, and... Uh, I, I earned my spot to be here. You know, I had a lot of people on the, you know, on the way up helping me. Of course, it's a team effort. But at the end of the day, I'm the only one in the octagon. I'm the one who has to put the, you know, the work in and the dedication. So it's awesome seeing, you know, him and his come up. And you know, hopefully, I can have that one day and have the support of Puerto Rico behind me as well. Thank you. Am I good? good. Thank you. Who's winning? Uh, I was, I, I was it's like all those looking pretty good. Yeah. <laughs>